Hello, it's Scott Manley here. Now, if you are following space, then you know that SpaceX was going to be launching the PAS satellite, as well as a couple of their demo Starlink satellites. The launch happened just before uh, sunrise, and it happened from Vandenberg Air Force Base, which is about 230 miles away from my home. Now, it's cool to watch stuff on the internet, but this thing was actually visible from all over California. So this is a picture from my back window, which is 230 miles away from Vandenberg. Of course, I knew what was happening, so I got my camera out beforehand and was going to take a video. And yeah, I was originally disappointed because yes, there were going to be clouds all over the place. Thankfully, there were fewer clouds than there were on the Wednesday when the launch was scrubbed. Sorry, but I kind of was happy that the launch got scrubbed. This is just me more or less hand holding it because I didn't expect to see as much as I did. Sadly, the image stabilization in the camera just can't keep up with my uh, old man shaky hands. But yeah, look, we get to see first stage cutting out and then of course you have stage separation going on in here. The spacecraft have to achieve enough separation and then the second stage lights up its vacuum engine which will carry the payloads into space. And this, look here, you can actually see all sorts of wonderful waves in the, the trail here. Now, of course, after the things get separated, the trail tends to stabilize and at this point it becomes very hard for me to figure out whether it's focused or not. The main reason the launch was so visible was because it launched just before sunrise. It was dark and it launched up into the sunrise, into the sunlight, so everything was illuminated much brighter. So you don't just see the rocket flare, but you get to see the trail standing out against the sky. And it was easily visible across the Bay Area. And no doubt visible for much further north. This thing would have been visible for hundreds of miles around. So if you ever want to see a rocket launch, just be aware you don't have to be right at the launch site. These things under the right conditions can be spectacular. They can be visible for hundreds of miles around. Indeed, by the time I took this picture of the second stage engine running, it was probably hundreds of miles downrange. It was five minutes after it had launched and the trail was already beginning to spread out. The trail lingered for a few minutes afterwards and you can see from its zigzag shape that the upper level winds were really pushing it around hard. That was why they had to scrub on Wednesday. And you can imagine that as it's going up, it's getting pushed one way and then the next as the upper level winds change direction from one way to the other. It looks pretty crazy, but the rocket basically went straight up. This was a, an effect afterwards. The rocket was well under control. And speaking of control, this was the first time that SpaceX had acknowledged they were going to try and catch the fairings using Mr. Steven. Unfortunately, despite a heroic effort, Elon confirmed that they missed by a couple of hundred meters. Still, better luck next time. I'm Scott Manley. Fly safe. <laughs>